Hey guys, welcome back to our PineScript video tutorial series. So in this video, we're going to go over identifiers and their naming conventions. So basically, identifiers are just a naming convention used to identify user-defined variables and functions. And the name itself says identify, which, uh, identifier, which means it is used to identify. So in the picture here, these are all identifiers and these are all different identifiers on the left. And on the right, these ones are basically the variables. And these variables are being assigned to these identifiers so that you can refer to them later in the script whenever you want to use them. There can also be instead of one, we can also put functions and this would work as well because identifiers are used to identify both user defined variables and functions. And as we go forward in our series, we will be using these identifiers and variables interchangeably because both of them are interchangeable and we will be referring to these identifiers as variables later in the script as well so now we're gonna look at the composition of an identifier so now we're gonna look at what identifiers are composed of so first thing is they contain letters letters can be either lowercase or uppercase but they are case sensitive okay so here you can see the identifiers being named with the letters and here here are the uppercase and these are all the lowercase letters being used and we can also use underscores in the identifier naming okay so here we can see the identifier being used and we can also use the digits in the naming of identifiers but the only thing is the identifiers name cannot begin with a digit what it will do is it will give us an error now we're going to look at what type of variables can you assign to identifiers. So you can assign integers that can be one, like these are the examples of integers. We can assign these integer values to our identifiers. We can also assign the float values that you can see here. And any type of float values, we can assign them to our identifiers. We can also assign strings to our identifiers. And after that, we, the boolean that is true or false can also be assigned to an identifier we can also assign the color or the code or color dot yellow uh, to our identifiers and after that we can also assign the line and label or and plot and edge line to our identifier and we can also assign the na variable that means not available to our identifier so I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, please comment down below and I would love to answer them. If you are new to our channel, please consider subscribing so that you can get our new updates, new video updates regularly. And you can also visit our website www.forexb.co in order to learn more about PineScript and Forex price action. Thank you.